Hey guys, uh, good morning. Welcome to my channel. Uh, right now the time is around 4 a.m. I'm just getting started uh, to ride some dirt uh, roads near uh, Fredericksburg. And uh, this is this James, K, James River Road, I think. That's what I want to ride. I saw some videos on the James River crossing. Uh, so I just want to see uh, how that, that works out. And uh, yeah, I got the bike out just now. Uh, so this is a 1989 Honda uh, Transalp uh, with a lot of Africa twin parts on it, uh, like the extended range fuel tank and all of that. And uh, yeah, I just put the cramp buster installed and then uh, uh, the Vista Cruise because there's some pavement riding to do. Um, I mean, it's probably one hour, one and a half hour of pavement riding. But yeah, let's get the ride started uh, and then I'll keep you guys posted. Yeah, I'm in Mason, Texas now. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto US 87 South, San Antonio Street. Yeah, let me just uh, top off fuel. I came like, I think probably. sixty means like almost 100 miles, I think. So I can fit at least two, three gallons. Yeah, I was able to fit around like 2.4 gallons. So that's like 100 miles, almost like 2.5. So what do you got, like 40 maybe? Yeah, 40 miles per gallon, I think. Not too bad. Okay, so I'll be getting off the highway here. Yeah, I just stopped to remove the cruise control. Uh, I think the cop just came over, so I'll just see. Hey, good morning. Yeah, I was just, uh, I just stopped for a minute. So Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Oh, sure, sure. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah, I removed the cruise because, uh, I mean, it works on friction, right, the cruise, so I don't want to have that on, on dirt roads. Take it hardly takes a... Ranch Road 1723, Ranch to Market Road 1723. It hardly takes a minute, so I just got that done. Continue on Ranch Road 1723 for two miles. Stream crossing subject to flooding. Hopefully there's no flooding. It's a nice RV park here. The Leno River. Okay, I'll be taking this right onto James River Road. Take the next right onto James River Road. I don't know if these are llamas or alpacas. I think they're probably alpacas. I never know the difference.
So there is some water. So we are going to cross water today. Water crossing. I thought it would be dry a bit, but... Oh, no. Okay. So I heard this is a very slick water crossing. So I need to probably go and map my route and come. So we'll see. Yeah, I'm at the James River on James River Road. Very pretty. It's almost around 7 in the morning. Yeah, there's a rock. So I think they, it may be slick over there. So I need to watch out. Then, I don't know, I think I can, may try. It's actually not that bad, but I don't know how it'll be like. Oh, no. <laughs> it is slippery. Yep, it is slippery. I think probably I'll stick to the right maybe. And then take the dry part here. But once we get there, I don't know how it'll be. Let me just walk there and see. Yeah, it is pretty slick. But I think it should be okay. Let's see. So I don't know how it's after this. This is all I can walk, but let me maybe try it on that side. So I'm on this end. We'll see. All right, here's my tripod setup. Trail tripod. <laughs> so hopefully the wind doesn't tip it over. So I need to get to the other side and uh, do this. I'm alone, that's the thing, uh, so if it falls, it's a pretty heavy bike and it lays very flat, so I need to see, <laughs> try not to fall at least. Alright, here we go, it's not too deep, but it's slippery. Recording. Alright, here we go. Uh oh, off to a bad start. But, let's see. Oh man, this thing is like slick. Then, oh my, oh no, oh no. It's not easy, for sure. Yeah, I think I should have carried more speed into it, but I mean, it is what it is. Oh, I think, I think I'm tipping it. That was lucky. All right, man. I think I need to carry more speed. But it's too late here. Yep, so that's the lesson learned. That you should carry some pace. Here you go. Oh my god. Yep. I was expecting it. But it's good. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, so it's just slippery. Okay, so now I need to lift this so hopefully I get enough leverage we'll see <coughs> oh man this thing is slick see how easily I'm able to drag this Alright, 
see, it's all. I think I got the wrong line. Recording. All right, let's see. Oh no, I turn it off. Start it off first. Okay. Okay, so this is what we trained for. So let's see if we can know something here. Recording. Yeah, I mean, it's all slippery here, so I'm not able to pull it up. But what I was thinking is maybe I can get into this groove here so that I can get some leverage against this. There's some sand here. Uh, I know I need to get it out of that, but then we'll pick that battle when we go there. So let's push it there. It's good to travel with a group, but then, I mean, it's not far. I'm not out of nowhere, so I should be able to get help easily. So I'm not worried about that. Okay, it's not bad. But here comes the difficult part. All right, so that's good. We know at least we're able to manage it. So I just, I'll just catch my breath and then figure out how to cross the road. Yeah, I think the thing I may have missed is I thought of taking the side line, but the grooves here are just too big. So it's just once you fall in that, right? If you're carrying enough, mo if not, not carrying enough momentum, it'll just be stuck in a rut. Maybe I need to take the center line because the grooves here are not so deep. So hopefully I'll be able to make it, but we'll see. I mean, I don't think there's anything that can go wrong now, <laughs> now that we did everything that we can. So, but first thing is we need to get this thing started. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's time to panic yet. <laughs> so I don't want to bother anyone. Okay, um, so I think probably the engine is flooded. So I'm just going to turn off the fuel and then uh, open the throttle while turning it on. Okay, so it's on now. I think let's try one more time. I'm going to avoid the right side area. That was the mistake I did. I didn't carry enough momentum and there are like big ruts there. So I don't think I'm confident enough to do that. So let's take to the try the other side. Oops. If I wasn't in trouble before, I sure am now. So I dropped it again the second time, but this time I dropped it on the exhaust side. So now it's really bad. It's taking in water. So I need to get this up soon. I mean, it's not that I'm in danger or anything because there's a ranch right there and there are people who I can call for help. But I mean, I put myself in this, in this situation. So I want to pull myself out and see. Yeah, this gentleman helped me. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was able to get it up. I think I'm just going to walk it because I don't want anyone else to bail me out. Huh? Yeah, hell no, I'll get it. I'll walk. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, he was just asking me if he needs to get my helmet. Okay, I think let me just walk the bike out and then we'll figure out how to start. I was able to turn back finally. I mean, I didn't want to take a chance because first thing is like, even though I was able to lift the bike the first time because it was just in a very slick spot. Uh, and then a rancher gave me a hand. Thankfully, uh, so I turned the back bike and then uh, 
I'm just letting it sit for a minute because even the battery was under the water. So I'm just going to attempt to start. If you're coming here, I would suggest a group. I see some tracks even that side, but I think at this point, I don't want to take any chance and trouble others. Uh, so I'm just going to turn back and probably attempt this later with the group. Yeah, it just took a lot of water. So when I'm cranking, it's just pumping out water. I don't want to kill the battery, so we'll see. I'll give it some more time. Yeah, I'm finally able to get it started. I learned a few hard lessons. Uh, I think first thing is maybe if there's a group travel with the group, but I was expecting it because I know this is like not in the way out uh, in the desert or something where it's like life threatening. Uh, I mean, there was traffic, there were like a couple of vehicles that passed by. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is, uh, I think this is too late in the season, maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe someone can comment. Uh, so that's that's there's a lot of build up of uh, algae and all that on the road on the because this is all stone so it's very wet, very slick and the second thing is I think I should have tipped it to the left rather than tipping it to the uh, right because I think when I tipped it to the right right uh, it, the water got in the exhaust so yeah I'm going to get started from here uh, because it's already pretty it's not late it's like it's still what 9 a.m. that's it uh, but I need to get back home uh, so yeah I'll uh, yeah if there's anything else I'll, I'll add it here All right, we are back in action. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know, for some reason I lost rear brake. Uh, maybe when I tipped over in the river, I don't know, something happened, I lost rear braking. So, yeah, I mean, I wasn't doing too much speed, but then it was a pretty good corner. And I went over that. I tried to control it in the trees, but then I came here, fell, yeah, those stones, and then just ended up here. I jumped off there, so I'm okay. But the bike took a pretty good hit, so I need to see how it's doing. I mean, it's been, <laughs> I didn't have much action this whole year, and all of a sudden, <laughs> I have like, <laughs> so much action in one trip. I guess you can call me a squid now. <laughs> But yeah, let me lift this and then we can see what's the damage and then we can get home. Yeah, the whole right. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the brake. Yep, I think it's, it's gone. Yeah, I had brake pressure when I started, but I guess since water got in at some point before this turn, uh, I lost brake pressure and I didn't realize that. And took a pretty good hit here. Broke that. That's all I could see. Yeah. And good thing is I was able to get it started. So I had to remove the vacuum hose for the fuel pump. And then uh, I had to prime it a little bit manually. And then uh, I don't know why that happened, but once I started that, I did fine. It's like 30 minutes I lost. So I have to uh, return back now. But I only have one brake. Yeah, the front works fine. Uh, but then the second fall to the right did a lot of damage. Uh, I lost braking and there was water in the exhaust and all of that. 
Yeah, overall it didn't go as expected, uh, but then I made home by uh, 12:30 in the afternoon, and then I need to uh, fix the indicator and then the scratches and the guard and all that side guard, and I need to bleed the rear brakes uh, and uh, reattach it. I think it came loose uh, when, it, when it fell or something like that. But yeah, overall I, I think um, it went well. I learned a lot of st- a lot of things, and uh, when I asked online, I was told there are alternate routes where I can go like into deeper water. with more gravel in it uh, so that it won't slip so hopefully uh, i think i can fix that and uh, uh, correct the line but yeah uh, see you guys later if you guys like the content please consider subscribing and like the video and comment uh, if you have any suggestions uh, for me thank you guys